Yeah, again, as we said, we've got four or five attacking pieces out, plus you know our mainstay centre defence, Yombi, has been out for another another month at least, supposedly. Um, we went to Red Bulls, the uh, the reigning champions. We put on a very good defensive display. It wasn't a uh, really proud of what the guys did. Unfortunate to concede a goal when we did. Um, so coming off a tough loss, Louisville, I would say are definitely one of the favourites to win it all. They've got two former Kickers players with Ownby and George Davis who are exceptional players for the Kickers in the past. They're going to be causing chaos for us on Saturday night. But we are starting to get healthy. We're starting to get a few pieces back. So very hopeful that we'll be able to really give them a positive game. And, uh, you know, again, with the fans behind us, this game last year was our second biggest attended game of the season and the weather looks fantastic again so we're really expecting a huge crowd again and that atmosphere really helps the players and that's going to be a big part for us this season as well. In our league like I said it's the biggest challenge ever for us to make the playoffs. Winning our home games are crucial. It's going to be a grind. I've said that to the players. We've got to make sure we stay positive. We don't get too down. We don't get too up. Every game is going to be a very very difficult challenge for the group. Um, Louisville's coming off a fantastic win down in Orlando, a lot of confidence, um, but we were in good, we were in good shape, we are feeling very confident, a lot of positivity in training today, going to get a few additional attacking pieces back for the weekend and I'm really looking forward to what can, uh, what can happen. really enjoy the fact that they're paying attention to details, we're improving in the defensive elements, it's really been a focus for us with, I believe long term, that it's going to be vital for us to, uh, to make the playoffs to have one of the strongest defensive records in the league. We haven't, unfortunately, had the time or the players available to really work as much on the offensive side as I would prefer. That's definitely coming in the next two weeks. Um, but no, really pleased with the group. A lot of positive chemistry. A lot of young guys, maybe not as, ex as much experience as we need, but then that's down, going to be down to me and the coaching staff who have done it before to, to impart that knowledge uh, and make sure we're as uh, enthusiastic and positive as possible. I think that, well, overall, you know, without knowing the, all the final pieces in play, it's difficult to get that. I do know that we will absolutely compete in every single game. So if someone is going to pick up three points off us, it's going to be well-deserved and well-earned. And there's no way we're going to be lying down in, in any match. And I, I just can't see it from this group. So, you know, but that's why sometimes we're young and, and maybe a little bit not as a... Uh, as uh, smart and as, as we need to be, but we're, we're going to give it everything. So I think that will be the kind of the feel for this group this season. I, I feel that we're going to uh, be very strategic on, on the defensive side so we can not uh, give up any goals, but at the same time really focus on um, getting up the field when we win the ball and making sure we keep possession um, to try to keep the game and, and you know, get the counter-attack and, and trying to move forward to get some goals and at the same time with the main focus of having not let up any goals or you know keep the team intact and stuff like that. Yeah we definitely need to push because um, we can't just sit back but defensively we're very good very organized so I think that is gonna we're gonna do well in that aspect of the game and I think we just need to score some goals and that will you know maybe put them on their toes so maybe if we get one early get two early and then we can just keep going forward.